Naruto was able to get rid of the cycle of hatred in his own verse, the ninja verse. But you know, a cycle of hatred that is even worse than what happened in the original Naruto verse. That is the Attack on Titan verse. These are circumstances that have been currently going on in the Attack on Titan world of Eren activating the rumbling and while killing everyone except the parody people simply because hatred. Hatred was the only reason that all this madness had happened. And uh, what made me wonder was, Naruto was able to get rid of the hatred in the ninja world, but would he be able to do the same if well, he was in, in the Attack on Titan Wars? You know, these questions have been popping up in my mind, and today we are here to tackle those questions. Uh, what if Naruto was in the Attack on Titan Wars? Part 1. Let's begin the video. We start this video off with the nine tail seal happening while Naruto is a mere child, a baby, um, and Minato and Kushina who are getting stabbed by the nine tails claw. Right, Kushina is saying her final words to her baby boy, and Minato is preparing the eight trigram seal to seal the um, nine tails inside of his son. While he does that, the Shinigami from behind Naruto would look at the boy and this, you know, grin. The Shinigami is a sadistic bastard, so he would think, you know, why do I, why don't I send this boy to another world, right? This boy is too good for this world, since you know maybe he saw the future of Naruto or something, right? Maybe he saw the future of Naruto, and this boy was the one who would bring the cycle of uh, hatred to an end. So he would, he thought that you know what? Let me send this boy to a uh, verse where the cycle of hatred is much, much, much worse. So by that power, once Minato does steal the line tail inside of Naruto, the Shinigami teleports. Naruto into the attack on Titan Wars. Once that happens, Carla, who is currently giving birth, um, would give birth to twins this time. Not one, but two babies. And they would be Aaron and Naruto. Yes, I would like to keep his name Naruto as well. Once they would have, that would have happened, Naruto, you know, the so-called Naruto, uh, who would be the son of Carla, would have died during the childbirth, but the Shinigami would, you know, kind of swap places, and then uh, Naruto would be born. The Shinigami would be, of course, careful enough to make Naruto's hair a brown or a black shade, so that you know any kind of suspicion doesn't let rise upon Carla. Once that would have happened, um, Naruto and Eren would grow up as brothers, of course, since, you know, they are brothers. Uh, again, uh, they would be raised together. Everything would happen as it happened in the original timeline until the time when uh, Mikasa's parents are gonna get killed. Once that would have happened, uh, Mikasa would come back with Eren. Naruto would not go since, you know, Naruto's personality is similar to Eren's. They both admire the survey corpse and they both want to go outside to the outside world. And Naruto wanted to be acknowledged by everyone since no one hates him here. He's sort of loved um, by family, loving family and all that stuff. Naruto will not, you know not want to be acknowledged by anyone and he, what he would want is you know get freedom similar to Aaron but here is where things start getting different you see in the original timeline nor uh Aaron where Aaron is really 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 hateful person he wants he's sort of similar to Sasuke's personality while Naruto is you know a goofball loving ass goofball he doesn't think about revenge that much so when the whole attack thing happens of the titan breaking the shiganshina wall um we would come uh, we would go to the perspective of naruto and mikasha and hanzi who uh, and naruto mikasha and uh Eren, who would be saved by uh hanji and then they would go back to the ship where Eren would 
swear that he would get revenge upon those titans, but you know, just glaring up at the titans, right? Naruto would put his hand on his brother's shoulder, shaking his head. He would say that, you know, he should not get revenge. What he should want is to be, uh, you know, to kill all those titans for justice, not for revenge for justice. Eren would think about this since, you know, revenge is not something that Naruto liked. Naruto never liked, uh, you know, any kind of violence. But the thing that I forgot to mention was uh, whenever Eren would get bullied by, you know, Armin who would get bullied, Naruto would be the ones <laughs> to, you know, save his and Eren's ass from those bullies because Naruto, who is originally a ninja from another verse, has a much more physically stronger body and not to mention instant regeneration almost instant re regeneration um, because of the nine tails now before I continue any further I do want to re um, lay out some ground rules Naruto's Kurma avatar is going to be the roughly the size of the colossal titan it's not going to be any longer than that or larger than that since if you go according to the original size then no you know Kurama is sort of even larger than the founding titan that Eren is currently using right now so really wouldn't want that to happen so yeah let's just say that Naruto's uh, Kurama avatar in this case is going to be as strong or as large as the colossal titan as for the second ground rule, Naruto with his QB cloak or the chakra mode, the Kuruma chakra mode KCM is only going to be as strong as the Ackermans as the Ackermans are pretty goddamn strong and Naruto's maximum peak power is going to be as strong as Levi, at least in his base form. So that is one thing that you guys have uh, looking forward to. Again, uh, the, now let's continue on with the story. Soon, Naruto and the uh, other three, uh, Mikasa, Eren, and Armin, would join the military, uh, military as the applications would be opened. Soon, they would join uh, along with you know other people like uh, Jean, uh, Sasa, Annie, and uh, many others. Connie would join, of course. Uh, Naruto, while all this would happen, would meet uh, Reiner, uh, Berthold, and uh, Annie, right? Uh, Naruto would feel sort of a connection with uh, Reiner and Berthold since he does feel like they are in a similar situation. Naruto cannot just put his exact finger on this, right? But, you know, uh, Naruto would quickly adapt to using the military gears of the uh, Attack on Titan verse. Again, he is from another verse where physical body and chakra is a thing. So Naruto would be adapting to that. Naruto then now would become 15 years old, same as the others, Mikasa, Armin, and all, all the others, right? Then uh, the thirst arc would begin. Naruto would have made contact with Kurama during this time, you know, since he would be sleeping. Uh, certainly would pop up in his mindscape and Kurama would tell that Naruto is a special being in this verse you know he would not tell Naruto about the you know whole uh, ninja wars and all that stuff he would just tell Naruto that you know he has special powers because you know he is sealed inside of him Naruto would say you know how the fuck is Kurama inside of him Kurama would just say you know that uh, it is something that that would he would rather rather not explain. It's a complicated process. Naruto, of course, being a goofball, would say, "Okay, fine." Then Kuromo would teach Naruto basics of chakra control, which would be really helpful. Let me tell you guys why. The Sori Core blades that they used and the equipment that they used, if they are boost up and their chakra um, by chakra, and then not to mention the sharpness of the blade is boosted by chakra it's going to be pretty easy for Naruto to slice up titans. Soon, soon that would have happened, Kurama would also teach Naruto a bit about his own chakra to control it. Now, of course, he would tell Naruto during that time that he is the only one in this entire world who has this power. Naruto would ask him why. Again, Kurama would answer because he is inside of him. Naruto would not understand what the hell is going on, but he would cooperate with Kurama since... He, Kurama just seems like a good guy. Once that would happen, Naruto would turn 15, as I said before, and the first arc would begin. Naruto and the other would you know, be chilling around, just talking, until, until a huge lightning bolt would 
go off in the distance right beneath the wall that Naruto and Eren were at. A huge blast of heat would blast them both off but with, by using their odium gears they would hang on to the wall and then there, there would stand a colossal titan. Both Naruto and Eren would pretty get pretty much angry because you know these are the bastards that led to their mother's death. Both Naruto and Eren would try to attack the colossal titan but the heat wave coming off the titan, the immensely large titan would not let them come even close. But soon Naruto by coating his entire body in Kyuubi chakra would get really close to slicing out the titan's nape but once Naruto did swing his blade uh, the titan would be gone like it never existed there. Soon um uh, the, the Naruto would wait for the orders and he would be assigned to the same team that Mikasa was assigned to. Once that would have happened, uh, Eren uh, Mikasa would insist that you know Naruto is there so uh, she you know she doesn't need to be there but she wants to go with Eren. But Eren would say you know no but before he could belittle her as he did in the original series, Naruto would stop him saying uh, as he would explain to Mikasa in much a calmer matter that you know that Eren can handle himself and all that stuff. And they need to follow orders. Mikasa would eventually understand and then they would um, in the Eren part of things things would go pretty much the same. And as for Naruto's part of things, uh, let's just say uh, Naruto's not having any problem killing titans left and right. He's killing as much titans as Mikasa is killing so he's not having much of a trouble. Then there would come the news of Eren getting killed. Both Naruto and Mikasa would be in shock, especially Naruto who's much closer to Eren than even Mikasa is. Not to mention, Mikasa, yes, he does love him romantically, but Naruto is his brother, man, and that's gonna sting. Naruto's entire, Naruto's eyes would turn red as a red cloak of chakra would start surrounding him. Naruto would hear Kuruma's voice inside of his head, to telling him to calm down, but Naruto would not listen. Mikasa pretty much gives the entire speech of her being a strong woman and uh, you know that every one of them uh, were not fighting or weak. Naruto and Mikasa were left off. Soon uh, Naruto whose blades are not dulled because of you know him using chakra to coat them and just not making them dull. Uh, but Mikasa on the other hand she's going rampaging and her gas eventually runs out. She falls to the ground as Naruto notices this and snaps out of his raging state. Once that would have happened, Naruto would uh, maneuver around the first titan that's coming around Mikasa and then kill it. He would soon uh, uh, la land and appear in front of Mikasa and you know, call out, Hey Mikasa, get up, we need to snap out of it, he would say and Mikasa would snap out. Soon Naruto would start speaking again. Hey, Mikasa, I know it's hard. I know Eren's death is a little hard. But we have to survive. For him, get up. You go. Go, I'll deal with this one. So Naruto, looking up at the Titan, that's pretty much looked a lot stronger than any other Titan that Naruto had met. Except for the armored and colossal, of course. Naruto would go around the Titan trying to slash up his nape. But the titan was seemed to be covering its nape. Soon Naruto's gas would run out too. But with the help of his chakra control, he would carry Mikasa up to the rooftop. But then he would notice that that green eyes titan did not attack them. As that would have happened, Naruto, Mikasa, along with other people that had joined the both of them, would start noticing that the attack that that titan specifically is not attacking human. But it's protecting them. Not only that, it's killing titans instead of you know doing anything with them. They would also notice that this titan is being uh, targeted by the other titans, right? So this would confuse everyone, of course. And with the help of Ormond's intelligence, they would eventually get to the base and do whatever they did in the original. Soon, um. They would figure out that it was Eren, uh, Naruto would take control of his emotions, and but Mikasa would completely break down after seeing it was Eren, right? 
once that would have happened um that would be uh aaron would be considered a threat once aaron wakes up uh especially when you know all that titan bullshit happened when no aaron tries to activate his titan power to let them all escape once that would have happened uh connie's would of course stop this he would uh eventually convince all of them but then Naruto would arrive to you know thank the head uh, or the bald guy as that would have happened Con you know the Connie's would of course talk with Naruto as well asking about his special powers since a lot of people are reported that Naruto had a red chakra or you know a red aura around him that seemingly made him much stronger especially even stronger than the likes of mikasa and most of the train scouts only the only levi is now like of naruto at this point as naruto would you know just say that he had this power since the moment he was born and he had just been recently able to control it Kani, so you know would be a little intrigued by this but he would buy it since you know there's simply no other explanation for naruto's power of course naruto is not telling uh, Ghanis about uh the nine tails because kurama did tell naruto to not tell anyone about this whole goddamn mess right so that would have happened uh then the first major arc would have happened of um taking or uh, the recapturing of thrust from the grasp of the titans this is the first major arc that would have happened in our context of series once that would have happened that would pretty much go the same except for one thing that would have been changing and that is the likes of Margo would be calling out to him he would also would notice that the titan who was being approaching Marco, he would immediately kill the titan and see Marco without any of his odium gear on. Naruto would ask Marco like what the fuck happened, Marco would stutter and say, Oh, they, 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 they're one of them, Marco would say. Naruto would simply look at him and say, who, who are you talking about, Marco? Say it clearly. As Marco would try to speak, his eyes would go dull and then he would look at Naruto strangely. Uh, what was he talking about again? Marco would ask that as Naruto would look at him confused, but something Naruto would notice is all the titans around Frost would be coming for him and Marco specifically. Naruto would, you know, just look at him and think, what the hell is happening? Why are they targeting me and Marco? He would notice that, you know, this is something and that Marco is terrified because he doesn't have his odium gear. Naruto would grab Marco. And then, you know, rush toward, you know, try to hide, try to do everything in his power to escape the Titans. But he would notice that no matter what he did, the Titans were targeting him and him only. Once Naruto would notice that, he would use the multi-shadow clone jutsu that Kuruma taught him. And then separate his chakra into several uh, Naruto and then just, you know, simply uh, outmaneuver the Titans. And sooner or later, he would climb over the thrust wall and just, you know, just be in safety. Then Naruto would look at uh, Marco. Marco, keep on telling me. Who were the people that you're telling are one of them? Who are you talking about? Naruto would ask. Marco would look at him and say, I, I don't remember, Naruto would say. Naruto would simply look at him and say, then why didn't you have your odium gear on? Marco would again look at Naruto a little confused and just say the same thing. I don't remember. Naruto would again think that this might be to some due to some you know traumatic experience, memory loss or something. But then a Levi squad would arrive to clean up the mess, and then uh, the trust wall would be taken back. Naruto would help Eren and Mikasa Armin to you know get recovered, as then he would you know, attend to his brother. Since, you know, Naruto is Eren's technically brother, right? So once that would have happened, this arc would, have, would come to an end, but not without many mysteries. First mystery would be, why are all the Titans we're specifically going after Naruto and Marco? And why where, uh, why didn't Mar Marco, you know, get a sudden amnesia? And uh, of course, uh, Eren's you know new attack uh, Titan power. After this would have happened, uh, Eren's trial would come up, 
uh, Mikasa and Naruto would try to you know, intervene once Levi starts beating the living shit out of Eren. But uh, Armin just, you know, just holds them back as then, you know, just trying to calm them both down. So, you know, just say that, you know, you know, chill, uh, you just believe in Captain Levi, everything will be all right. They do. And then soon, Naruto, along with Mikasa, Armin, and Eren, would end up joining Levi's squad. Then we would come to the Shiganshina arc, or at least the failed retake of Shiganshina. Everything would pretty much go the same until uh, uh, Annie would catch up to Levi's squad. Supposed Levi's squad, right? Since Naruto is with Eren, Levi, and the others, I do not see um, uh, Eren needing to transform into a titan since Naruto is, you know, more than capable of taking uh, at least baiting Annie until Levi and his entire squad shows up. Once that would have happened, um, any good would get captured and this would lead to many things the first thing is the tie wall titans would not be found when i say the wall titans would not be found i mean they would not be found but something interesting would happen whenever Eren sleeps he would get strange dreams of you know the walls breaking down and the colossal titans marching off the world uh walls to you know destroy the world Aaron would have the stream he would eventually tell this to all Norse only but Norse would just say you know that it's a dream it's nothing much but Aaron would simply just say you know it feels more like a reality than dream Naruto would be, would be concerned about this his brother since you know having a dreams about titan is not something that's normal but Naruto would eventually just, you know, leave it out since he would think, you know, it's a dream anyways. What's going to happen the most? Again, uh, what would have happened now is um, uh, the Shiga Wall Rose, uh, about the rumors of Wall Rose being, uh, being uh, breached would start spreading around and the Beast Titan will start making his move. When the Beast start just start making his move what would have happened is Naruto along with uh, who has been singled out some miraculously and it has and has been added to Mike's squad would be there and then he would pretty much notice that uh, every that the beast titan can talk and Mike's death he would notice everything since you know all the titans around the area would be targeting Naruto specifically. Then because of that, Naruto would not have any control over, you know, or the chance to save Mike. But Zeke, who's of course the Beast Titan, would be even more surprised by that. Why would he be even more surprised by that? Because Beast Titans are supposed to be controlled by him, but he cannot control them at all. Like at all he cannot control them. It's like these Titans are getting out of his control and it's because of that boy. Naruto would eventually activate his version 2 cloak. He has already gotten into two tails up to worth of Chakra with the help of Kurama. And then soon Naruto would, you know, breach out the seal. Uh, you know, Naruto would get out and try to go after the Beast Titan, but the Beast Titan would suddenly disappear. This is a mystery that Naruto cannot solve. Why are all the Titans coming after him? In this past few months, why has he been left out and singled out? It's like he, someone is trying to kill him in some kind of way. Naruto is really confused by this and he would not understand what is going on right now. So he would eventually report all of this to Levi and Erwin. He would try to figure out, we know what the hell is happening. Why are all the Titans specifically targeting Naruto and all that stuff? Um, and they would also know about the Beast Titan, of course. Once that would have happened, uh, I would put Naruto out of service for, you know, trying to figure out what is happening with the boy. But once uh, Eren is captured by Reiner and Berthold, Naruto does not listen to his orders as he goes to save his brother. Eren then orders Naruto to stay with him as all the attack, uh, you know, titans are targeting Naruto specifically. This works out in Eren's favor as he, you know, leads, leads the Taurus with the titans. As he, you know, he distracts all the titans with uh, that. 
uh, with the help of Naruto, since Naruto is a distance away, uh, um, Berthold, uh, Armin, Mikasa, and Reiner, all of them, everything uh, in that plan just pretty much goes the same. Uh, the Smiling Titan comes to kill uh, Hannes, and once that happens, yeah. Aaron just breaks down as he did in original and then he unlocks the titan founding titan power as every titan that uh was going after naruto you now suddenly goes after reiner but then the reiner and birth will do manage to escape along with the, the survey corpse the mission is a success as they manage to take back Aaron. once that happens uh then we come to the shiganshina retake this at the starting uh, which would pretty much go the same, but things start changing as uh, you know the Suicide Squad is what I like to call them, or Urban Squad that went after the Beast Titan. That would pretty much remain the same; nothing would change over there. But the way that uh, Colossal Titan is deal dealt with is gonna change a lot. Over here, um, Naruto. Uh, again, I, for, I saw. I'm so sorry, guys. I forgot to mention the royal blood arc right uh and this uh, everything pretty much goes the same uh aaron unlocks hardening and all that stuff nothing changes specifically um after that happens uh, let's get back to the shiganshina uh, arc uh to deal with the colossal titan what happens is uh the uh, naruto who has you know somewhat gotten control over kurama's chakra he has already unlocked kcm1 He's still not along KCM2 since Kurama does not believe Naruto is ready for that kind of power yet. His body is not strong enough. So what would have happened is um, Naruto would unlock KCM1. And with the help of that, the, since the heat of the Colossal Titan would not affect Naruto, instead of Armin, Naruto would be the one that would you know, kind of be the bait. Once that would have happened, uh, Eren would of course, since Naruto is not getting affected by the Colossal Titan's heat, um... Uh, he would not be fried, fried into a crisp. Naruto would, uh, you know, be alive since the Kurama's chakra is protecting him. And then Eren would come from the back and deal with Berthold. Finish him off. Now what would this happen? This makes two major changes. One, Armin is nowhere near dead. He is fully nice and alive. The second is, Eren was, you know, almost dead in the original. But... Since Armin was also in this near that near death like state, um, because of that, what would have happened is Erwin would be the one to uh, given the Titan serum, and he would be the one that would be converted into the colossal Titan. So not only is Erwin alive, he is also the big boy, bad uh, big daddy, colossal Titan. Now. Here is uh, where things start getting a little interesting. Uh, everything pretty much goes the same until Eren kisses Historia's hand. When Eren does kisses Historia's hand, he sees the entire future again. In this case, Naruto was supposed to be born. I'm not changing that. Naruto was supposed to be born, you know, just that the baby that Naruto was supposed to be. He's not that baby Naruto was supposed to be dead. Again, I repeat. The baby that Naruto was supposed to be born as original had died. The twins that Carla gave birth to, the son that he had named Naruto, had died. Only because of the Shinigami who transferred the original Naruto soul into that baby. And along with the QB and all the chakra and all that stuff, did that baby survive. Otherwise, that baby would have been dead. Now, because of the Shinigami's interference, a lot of the time leaps have changed. One thing that Aaron would notice is, you know, that he maxed away in rumbling and not only, you know, that would be his main goal, but his secondary goal would be to kill Naruto because in his future, the future that his future self sent him, none of them have Naruto in it. Not a single one of the situations have Naruto in it. So he would try to, you know, all of those times that I said, that the call, you know, Titans were, were going after Naruto, specifically, you know, the mark of forgetting his memory, Beast Titan not being able to control the Titans. All of this was because future Eren was trying to kill Naruto. The time has changed. The time uh, that the future that uh, future Eren saw has changed. And future Eren doesn't want that to happen. He wants to act for the rumbling. 
And because of that, things are not looking good. And he wants to kill Naruto. Now, of course, we go to the time skip, right? Um, I would like to end the video over here. In the next part, we will cover the time skip and, and the series, of course. Um, so, yeah, if you guys have liked this video, you know, just a little bit change of pace. You know, always getting Naruto videos are in that same Ninja Wars. It's not that interesting, right? I do want to make some other series some other time. So, yeah. This time, Attack on Titan was it. And if you guys want me to make a series after the series is over, when Naruto is sent to any other interesting worlds uh, of the other animes, please comment down below and I might consider doing that. Again, I do not promise that I'll do all of them, but a, a really good one, I might do it. So yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video and if you did, please uh, like this video and subscribe to the channel and share this video to much of your friends as possible so that you can help the channel grow more than you'll ever know. So yeah, guys, uh, hopefully you, you guys are smiling. Have a nice day and peace out, guys. Keep on smiling forever and ever.